Atop a mountain, a group of mountain goats are busy mining when Tai Lung arrives and destroys the mountain. Meanwhile, her is battling an evil stingray. After the fight, Shurfu asks to speak with Pila, but Pur is more interested in relaxing and having fun with the valley's animals. Shurfu eventually persuades Pur to talk. On the steps of the Jade Palace, Shurfu instructs Pu, who is holding Ugwe's staff, to find a successor as the Dragon Warrior, much to Po's annoyance. The next day, Pu and Shurfu watch as all five candidates perform. Pu struggles to choose and ends up letting his finger decide, which eventually points to himself, much to Shurfu's frustration. Pu returns to the palace to find someone sneaking in and attempting to steal items. Pu and a fox named Jin battle, and Pu defeats her, sending her to prison. Later, Pu hears of Tai Lung's return and visits Jean, who had given him a clue earlier. In the prison, Jin tells him that Tai Lung isn't back, but is instead the work of an evil sorceress shapeshifter called the Chameleon. Pu wants to take her down alone, but Jin says if he is going to defeat her, he'll need her help. Pu and Jean head off to Juniper City, to the village's excitement, however both of Pa's dads, Ping and Lee worry about him and soon go after him. Pa and Jean enter a restaurant and destroy the place, as Jean tries swindling them out of mahjong tiles. But the duo quickly escape with the captain, who steers the boat, but also drinks a lot. On the boat, Pa has a vision of what the chameleon wants and the duo arrive at Juniper City. In the streets, Pa learns that Jean is a wanted thief and the police go after them, but they manage to escape to the den of thieves, where Jean reconciles with Han, who took her in when she was younger. The next day, Har and Jean escape to the lair of the chameleon and go in. The chameleon captures Pu in a cage, and Jean steals the staff and gives it to the chameleon, revealing she has been working for her the entire time. The chameleon tells him that her true passion is Kung Fu, but was turned down by every training place, because she was too small and decided on sorcery instead. Pu tries to escape, but cannot break the cage so he destroys the ground and falls into a pit of guards. However, Pa comes back and asks Jean to give him back the staff, but it is the chameleon in disguise and she chucks him off the cliff. The chameleon uses the staff to gather all the power from all the kung fu masters of the past. Jin realizes what she had done and goes to find Pu. Pa talks to his dads about change, and they tell him that change isn't always a bad thing. Pa becomes encouraged by this and goes back to stop the chameleon, but Jin doesn't want him to get killed and tries to stop him, but fails. After this, Jean goes back to the Den of Thieves and encourages them to help her defeat the Chameleon and save Pa's life. Back in the room of the lair, Pa tells Tai Lung that he lost the Staff of Wisdom, which makes him lose more faith in Pu. The Chameleon and Pa fight each other, but the Chameleon uses the power of the Masters to give her more strength, before she transforms into all the Masters in one, which greatly amazes Pu. Jin tries to get involved, but ends up falling with the rubble. The chameleon transforms into Pu'er, and the true Pu slaps the imaginary one's butt. The chameleon captures him in yet another cage, but Jean uses the move Pu'er had taught her earlier to defeat the chameleon and give the kung fu villains their powers. Pu uses the staff of wisdom to send all the villains back through the door, into the spirit realm. Back at the Jade Palace, Pu tells Shurfu that he has chosen Jian as his successor, which makes Shurfu spit out his tea, and he goes to the tree to meditate all of his stresses away. Jin doesn't believe she can be, but Pa gets the Furious Five to help train her.
Now, no.